welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we are going to be having our first look at this 05 Ford F-250 Power Stroke built by GPJK. Now, this is a public mod. It is available publicly on mod.io. However, it is worth noting that it is branded and therefore is not available on consoles because obviously branded trucks do not pass console approval, and this one also does not have the console files, once again, because it is known very clearly that branded trucks do not pass console-friendly regulations. Now, with that being said, let's fire it up, see what it sounds like, and then take it into the garage and customize it for the very first time. Everything that you guys are seeing in this video is literally my 100% first impressions and first reactions to this truck. So, I am more than excited to start it up and dive into it. Definitely has an authentic sound, that's for sure. Now, let's go ahead and make our way into the garage. It's got a decent amount of power right off the bat, too. So, into the engines, we've got a stock 6.0, we've got a tune 6.0, and we've also got a performance 6.0. The performance 6.0, I think, is what we're going to go ahead and throw in there right off the bat. That's what we're going to try, but I'm sure that the tuned one would be a nice in-between if you're looking for, like, a small bump in power, but not a big one. Now, gearbox-wise, you have one option. That is the six-speed, and this thing is a really good all-purpose setup, I'm sure. Now, we've got three suspension options. Stock-ish, lifted, and lifted Err. Now, the lifted err suspension is, I'm sure, the one that most people are going to use. However, if you want to use the in-between, I wouldn't be, I, like, I, I would understand why you would use that as well. Even if you wanted to go with the stockish one, I would completely get that too. So, we'll go with the lifted err suspension. Now, the standard tire size, the base tire size, is going to be 34s, and you actually have a pretty good selection of tires in the 34-inch category. Now, from there, you can go up to a 35, which is going to be literally a tiny little increment increase and then up from there you have 38s and if you want to go with something that's a little bit more low profile you have the option to do that as well on these archon wheels so let's go through the 38s now now Obviously, the tire compounds are going to repeat in each size, but the 38s definitely look right for this lift, apart from the fact that they would absolutely rub on the stock bumper. So I'm hoping that that's something I can change out. Now, the largest tire size is most likely going to be these 40s, and they do look really, really good. And if you want to run something really, really wide, you can run them on these Archons. However, that's entirely up to you, depending on what you actually want to use the truck for and what your plans are are with it. And actually, these look really good, and I believe those are Black Rhino wheels as well. So I might kind of swap the setup around back and forth, but we'll see what we like. Now, I'm going to throw these on it for now, and then winch-wise, we'll throw the standard winch on there. And if you want to throw a gooseneck hitch in the bed, you can do that as well. Now, the tailgate is actually removable, and if you want to run it without a tailgate, that you are completely able to do that. Toolbox definitely works well in, in the back as well. And, oh, dude! Dude, okay. The toolbox really works well in the back, but I am mainly just glad that we have this Iron Cross front bumper available to us and we can get rid of the stock bumper. Don't get me wrong, I like the stock bumper a lot, but for tire clearance, it really is not the way. Now, if you don't like the chrome grill, you can also swap that out for a matte black grill, but... I'm kind of back and forth on whether or not I want to do that. I may go ahead and swap it out for the matte black grill, but let's see. Ooh, you can actually put the front windows and the rear windows in. I'll tell you what, we'll leave the front windows down, but we'll put the rear windows up. Now, rear bumper-wise, you can also throw in an Iron Cross rear bumper, or you can black out the stock one. That's entirely up to what you want to do, but both options look really good, actually. Now, there's a pretty good selection of wheels in here. You have some, uh, let's see, some KMCs, some XD wheels. Yo, those actually look really, really good. Let's see, what else do we have in here? We have a pretty dang, like, deep selection. And if you want to go with these victories, you can actually do that, but on a much thicker sidewall. Like, if you like the style of them, but you want to go with a, a much thicker sidewall, you can do that as well. I'm going to actually go with these. These look awesome on this thing. Really, really good. Now, color options-wise, you have a big selection of colors, and they're all very, very bright. Like, bright vibrant really well like fleshed out and i think they look really good on the truck i actually really like the darker red the darker red looks awesome and so does the blue even this kind of like grayish like off-white i really like the way that looks as well 
What about the gray? Oh, dude, the gray is like, the gray is really good. Even this kind of like off green. I really think there's not really a bad color on this thing. They all look really, really good. And they all look like they suit the truck super well, too. I'm going to go with the gray, and then we'll see kind of how that uh, fits the rig from there. Now, if you want to do the bobble dar on the dash, you totally can. But I'm going to put beans on up there. And then now, we're going to leave the garage and see what this thing's got in terms of off-road performance. So let's fire it back up. Okay, the more I look at these wheels, the more they grow on me. I really like the way those wheels look. And if you're going to be hauling um, some heavier trailers, you can also bump the rear suspension up so you have a little bit more load-bearing capacity in the back. But let's go ahead and get on the power. You know what's actually really nice about this truck? What's really nice about it is the fact that even when you're on the most powerful setup, it still doesn't feel like it's trying to, like, jump out of its own skin. It still absolutely rips, though. Let's throw it in high and see how it does through the river. Oh, yeah, it doesn't even remotely slow down. Okay. But even in high, it's really manageable to drive. Really, really manageable. This transmission seems like it's really well set up to be a multi-purpose transmission so that you never really have to worry about changing it out. All right, let's do a hill climb in three, two, one. Let's go. Leaving it in automatic. Dude, we didn't even have to, like, take it out of automatic for that. That was just, like literally straight up the hill and done what about the rock test now again we used to use this as a slick rock test but now that the rock grip has been changed a little bit in season seven it may actually be a lot grippier taking the truck through here although we seem to have high centered it literally right out of the gate so let's try to not high center it right on right out of the gate Easy. We might get a little bit of body damage, but that's fine. We need the momentum. Yeah, we're going to catch the bumpers, but we need the momentum. Hey, honestly, it doesn't have as much body damage as I thought it was going to have. Come on. Come on. Oh, it was not a fan of that. How about just locking it in low plus and letting it eat? Yeah, that seems to be the way. Yep, that'll work. I love those axles, too. Those axles look sick. All right, let's drop this thing down off the rock. And what's really crazy is, I know it's got 40s on it, but man, it, and you guys can let me know in the comment section below if you guys feel this way about it as well, but oop, yeah, I oofed her there on that one. Yikes. But no, it makes those 40s actually look kind of small. These 40s on this truck look a lot more like a 35 or a 37. I don't know, like maybe that's just like a weird perception of scale, but like, I'm not, I'm not lying when I say that those, those 40s look more like a 37 to me. So it uh, made very short work of both the shallow and the medium mud. What about the deeper stuff? Oh, okay. That's, yeah, wow, all right. Hang on, dude, we went to what? Where did that barrel go? That barrel just got boinged into oblivion. We just did laps around the pond. What even is this thing? This thing is so incredibly grippy and powerful. Like, if you wanted to run a more, like, vanilla game-focused setup, obviously you could do that by running smaller tires, running, a, like, a, a lower suspension, and running the stock power, but, man, this thing on this setup is really fun to drive. It is so much fun to drive. Taking it through the dips obstacle now. And I really cannot get over how good that wheel and tire package looks. That wheel and tire package, dude, that is like some top-notch stuff. Absolutely tip-top stuff. Oh, well, here we go. Here we go. I mean, as long as you give it a little bit of a diagonal approach, you're A-OK. -okay. I mean, if you went through here straight on, you could probably do it. It would just be a little bit ugly. But, I mean, it's going to be a little bit of an ugly approach either way when you're doing an obstacle like this at this kind of speed. But, nah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Literally A-OK. -okay. All right, we've got one more test to do before we take it to the bridge jump, and that is this back trail. Now, I'm not going to bother repairing it because I'm sure we're going to get some body damage when we go through here. Because this, I mean, this back road is freaking nasty. But let's see. Oh, my God, it is floating through here. I am half throttle and high right now. I'm not even full throttle. Like, I'm just feathering it. Oh, 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 okay. Yep, tree caught it. I was like, it's going to stall any second now. And it's, it's probably going to do it because of that tree. 
on. Find a little bit more grip at the front end. There we go. I'm honestly pretty proud of this thing. It is ripping, dude. It is absolutely freaking shredding. <laughs> I, I am blown away by this thing. It rips. It rips in every possible way. <laughs> I can't believe we barely took any body damage going through there as well. Like, literally, we took some grill damage, and that's it. What about if we go through the swamp? The swamp may surely beat you. Well, oh, oh. Oh, are you gonna stall? I'm still flat out and high, by the way. Let's give it a little bit of a winch pull. It's like, it's struggling, but it hasn't, it hasn't like stalled yet. I think it's actually stuck. But if we put it down in the first, oh no, it is stuck. Okay, well, I think we found the limit. And you know, I gotta say, the limit of this thing is pretty freaking high. The limit is way higher than I thought it was gonna be. I mean, after driving a lot of vehicles lately that like, will get stuck at basically the drop of a hat. This thing, holy moly, it feels like such an upgrade to drive it into the mud like that. All right, so let's get a little bit of a repair going. And now let's change our setup just a tad. So let's see, crawler low, bogger low, yes. Yes, the bogger low sidewall, I'm down for that. I am down for that. And that means, actually, I wonder, we throw like a nice, oh geez, no. Actually, the white doesn't look too bad. Yeah, the white doesn't look too bad, and neither does the blue. Ooh, I like the blue. Okay, let's run it like this off the bridge jump. Now, I have a theory about the bridge jump in this thing, and my theory is, oh God, we got our windshield all muddy, jeez. But my theory about doing the bridge jump in this thing is that it's going to nosedive, because that 6.0 is a heavy boat anchor up there. Although, I actually didn't nosedive on, on the top of that hill as bad as I thought it would nosedive. So that's actually a big upgrade. That's a big improvement from what I thought it was going to be. All right, y'all. Let's see. Can we see? Not really, but that's fine. Flat out. Go, 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 go. It's not bad. The amount of speed. A little bit of nosedive, but, like, nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to do it. I mean, it totally drove out of it just fine. It also sent a barrel to the Shadow Realm while it was at it. Now, if you guys enjoyed this look at this truck, then make sure to head over to Bob.io and check this thing out. I mean, this thing is a blast to drive, and I certainly had an awesome time driving it here for the first time. It will definitely appear in many adventures to come on the channel. Now, once again, though, if you guys would like to see more, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on, and I will see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later, and I hope you guys enjoyed.